looking at pictures of apple trees. Apple trees. Apple trees. Apple trees. Hmm. Apple trees. Apple trees. Apple trees, lots of pretty apple trees. Oh my, 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 my. Let me see. I need one. I like this one. I like this one. It's cute with the ladder, the basket. Yes. And I'm going to make the double things. Yes, I liken this apple tree. This will be my guide. I'm going to save this picture. Well, since we're all stuck inside and can't go places, I'm going to get started on making my second fairy house, which I've looked at pictures online because I've decided I want it to be an apple tree. I have this, uh, this is a nice tall, what was in here? Olives, yeah, olives came in this jar, and it's going to be upside down, and I've picked up odd and other things that, to make the branch branched out, so I have some things sitting here that I'm fixing to start to put together to, uh, to make an apple tree fairy house. We'll see how it goes. I'll show you in just a bit how it go how i'm getting this stuff together actually i'm gonna crumple up this is gonna be the top of the tree house and i'm being real lazy please ignore the fact that i'm just laying up here in bed with the tv in front of me my feet <laughs> and i i don't know the this deal about the virus and us shelter in one place you just got to do something to keep busy so i'm going to watch tv and start trying to put my apple tree fairy house together so i'll be back in a minute and show you the progress okay i want to tell you <clears throat> i am not a crafter that keeps the camera running on my whole project and then speeds it up fast forward where you're dizzy as you're watching the people speedily do go go through it i will just show you what i'm doing and turn the camera off and then come back but uh <clears throat> these are the little pods that fit into uh, a commercial type coffee pot and so i've started out i'm using it i've got it taped on here this will be the base for my apple tree uh, fairy house this will be the front with the front front door here and this is going to be a step out out here uh, we also have some more of the little k cup other size deals that i'm probably going to make like a little apple basket and maybe this this is one of those things you get with medicine see which one looks better better with it so onward and upward let me see if i can get this glass jar hook oh and this i don't exactly know exactly what this was it was just something i found out and found out in my garage and with a bunch of junk so <laughs> i figured it it would work out great so let me see if uh if i can get the jar stay attached to this on the bottom okay so far hmm i got that hooked on for the base and on the door these uh these are just pill bottles up here at the top that will be uh 
my branches and next I'm going to work out after I get everything set up on this little uh, fairy house I it will be covered with air dry clay so I'm thinking about making a piece of cardboard maybe a little roof right here and this is styrofoam and using it to support the roof for a little entryway door so let's see about doing that and then I'm going to use the grocery bags for <clears throat> the uh, leaves I guess is what you would call it my, my top of my tree okay here I go okay I do have my little front porch fixed up the door is going to go in here I've got to leave plenty of places I'll probably maybe make a window up here and some windows on the side because I will have a uh, one of the little battery operated flickering candles in it that's why I'm leaving the bottom open to put on it to make like a light inside it uh, got my little apple basket that's going to go on the side shape started I was going to use grocery bags for my top leaf pattern but it's too too scrunchy so I think I'm going to use a plastic bag and then maybe put a, a plastic dish and then put that on it. Let's see if that works. Uh, this is just kind of funny. Uh, it, <laughs> it looks like me on a bad hair day. <laughs> So I do have the bags up here, and I had put the uh, uh, the plastic bowl up under there. But yeah, I gotta tame this hairdo down a little bit because there's no way the air dry clay is gonna go on on that. But it is kind of the ideal I I wanted for the top of my tree. So hmm. I think, you know, I may just put a movie on TV since we're sheltering in place and uh, watch a movie and see what else I can do to work on my apple tree. See you in a bit. Okay, I believe this is going to work. Uh, on top of the paper, I've crumpled uh, aluminum foil that I can compact. A little better before I put the air dry clay on and uh, no, I might need to pull that up a little bit because I want to be able to see my two branches let me extend them down a little bit but uh, yeah aluminum foil crumpled and plus I do have the the grocery bags up under the aluminum foil too and that's going to be able to to push it in plus it still doesn't make it feel like it's going to be top heavy so it'll be falling over so continuing to work see you in a bit okay I have my frame all fixed uh, yeah I crunched the aluminum foil so it's packed pretty good I've got marked off where I'm going to make my windows and my door and a little window over here and in the back I'm gonna make a window and maybe a little balcony like back there and uh, a little basket filled with apples will go on the side but I'm probably going to wait make it separate and glue it so now that my 
basic frame is all finished. This is fun working on my bed and watching movies. I got the movie paused. But uh, now it's time to start with the air dry clay. This is just Crayola. I did find the last time I used this. If I put it on really, really thick, it does seem to crack when it dries. So I'm going to really try to take my time and and put it on here in thin layers and see if that'll work better, that it won't crack. So, yeah, I'm going to unpause my movie. It's a Spalian, no, oh, it's called Alien Arrival. Looks pretty good, but I do think I can work with my clay as I'm watching the movie. Sitting here on my bed. Well, we cannot go, we're not supposed to be going out anywhere. So, yeah, my adventures at the thrift stores and, and at the Saturday night auctions are over for a while until we get this virus thing under control. So, maybe I should go wash my hands, even though I've just been in the house, but it feels funky from handling this uh, masking tape, you know. So, I think I'm going to go wash my hands before I do this. Oh, I do know I need to get a little bowl of water, too, because the water kind of seems to help move it out. So, I'm going to continue to work on this. It takes, I know, a good day for this air dry clay to dry out so it may be tomorrow before i see show you where we're at hopefully i can get all of this on here tonight it'll dry out and then we can start the painting of it yeah continue apple tree fairy house fun stuff well it's uh the next day and what i've got <laughs> What I've got on it so far, so we want more like Easter eggs and apples in the basket. But as you see, it's hardened up there. I still feel a little bit of softness in some of the uh, thicker places. But most of the trunk part of the tree is done. So I'm ready to hold it good to get up under here and get clay up under there and clay on the top and these are these are already hard make my my apples that will go up in the tree and then it'll be time to paint as the president talks. I just noticed that I've gotten some big cracks down here in the bottom of my pole. So I'm going to try to put some more clay, maybe with a little more water in it, or some glue to see if I can fill that in. Okay, I'm fixing to get back to work on my apple tree fairy house uh, giving it looked over I see some cracking that I'm going to try to fix some big cracking back here this is all dry I had run out of clay so I had to wait ordered some for Amazon got a darn big tub this time this is five pounds, so hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm going to try to fix these crackings. What I'm going to do is use a little white glue with water and smooth out the, uh, the clay and see if that'll fix it. Okay, I have the tree done. I fixed most of the little cracks in it. Some of these cracks on the trunk, I'm actually kind of like. These big ones I actually put in. These I didn't. But if I'm looking at them, it's reminded me more of a bark 
look, I don't know if apple trees have bark or not, <laughs> but I like it. I like it. And uh, so now he's got to go and sit and, and dry. I have decided that I'm going to make the apples separate and then probably hot glue them on. Originally, I had thought, I saw a, a technique they were doing on one of the cake decorating shows where they took scissors and kind of snipped the fondant and it, and it uh, actually they were doing a bird and it made it ha kind of have a feathery look and I thought well wow that would work good to make it leaf looking but I tried it and apparently fondant must be a little thicker than what I've got on here because it didn't look so good it didn't look so good on here so as we're still all sheltering in place and listening to what's going on on the news, I'm going to put the treehouse aside, let it dry, make me some, make my apples up, hot glue them on, and then we, we will be ready to paint here pretty soon. I finally got the top on the, uh, the tree. It's dried overnight. Don't know if it's totally dry because there is still a little different contrast in the color. So there still may be a little moisture in it. But I've got my apples made. And I'm out here in my shop now, off the bed, watching TV. What's that other thing? My apple, my basket of apples. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead, because I'm out in the shop because my glue gun's out here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue my apples on in my apple basket. And still let it dry for a couple of more days, because I don't want any moisture in there when I put the paint on it. I use acrylic paint, which has moisture. Yeah, it feels really cold up here compared to down here. So uh, I'm pretty sure there's still some moisture in it. But I think we're good to go to go ahead and glue my apples on it. And then we'll give it a couple of more days of drying time. And then we start painting. Okay, I have started painting. Uh, still had problems with a lot of the cracking. I've uh, looked up a lot of YouTube videos on cracking. And it says, as you can see in my little roof, uh, to slow the drying process down so my next piece that's what I'm trying to do because this is cracked so much my uh, siding came off of it so last night I've made some, flow some flowers that I will be attaching to it but but yeah I kind of like my painting that's it's turned out. I'm going to work on it a little more. Uh, actually, this evening probably will be starting another, another fairy house because, frankly, during this time of stay at home, there's not much else I really want to do other than list my stuff on eBay. And these are too big to put on eBay, and the Saturday night auctions have been closed down indefinitely. So, what do you do? You make fairy houses. Uh, I'm working on the barn and working on the video and my next one's going to be a pumpkin patch which I got to look up some pictures and all but frankly I, it'll probably be pumpkin season by the time I get it all finished and all so I'm going to uh, continue to paint on this one I do know that I will be sealing it all with an acrylic uh, sealer on it uh, and hopefully to keep any more cracking or anything else breaking away from it but uh yeah stay in home stay in safe okay did a little more on the painting what i did right in this area where so much of my clay had uh had been chipping and chipped off other than just making a flower to fill it in. I used this foam cup that the sides of it were already almost a curve like that. And so I, I replaced that in there, there with it. 
this one I just did the flower on it and super glued it on. I'm going to have fun cleaning out all these little windows, you know, and then down under here where it had broke off too, I put another flower. And I just, maybe I'll leave that side since I have the basket on this side. So anyway, I'm going to let what I've got done dry a little bit and uh and come back to it i'll go work on another one that's the good thing about this clay stuff having several projects going at one time because as as one is drying i can go work on another one i think that clay's still gonna just scrape off of there okay probably get some q-tip swabs to clean it off so yeah I'm going to go, there is a Star Trek marathon coming on today on, on one of the TV stations, so I'm fixing to head in there and plop myself in front of the TV and watch some Star Trek. Hope y'all have a good afternoon. Well, here it is, my second fairy house, which was the apple tree fairy house all I have to do is clean the windows which I think is a, a pretty easy deal just a little cotton swab I've got like three coats of uh, high gloss varnish on it, which I'm not too thrilled with the high gloss varnish. I'd much rather it to have been a matte finish, but this was what I had. And uh, I've got some matte finished order. So, there it is. Here's my little light. So let me see if I can get it dark enough in here so you can see it with the candle in it. Here it is, with the little uh, tea light battery operated candle in it. Just a nice little soft glow. And as you can see, when you can see the light through here, there that was the problem I was dealing with the cracks in it. But yeah, there's the back window. The other side window but I learned quite a bit making it hopefully I now know how to fix where all the cracking is but yeah this is what I did the first part of the pandemic of 2020 and having to stay indoors, social distancing, all the new words we've learned, but hoping everybody has found something to do, staying safe, and I'm onward and upward on my next one that I'm working on, and fingers crossed I've learned so much with making this one that the next one will be a little better so yeah it's hot out here in the shop so I'm going to shut it down and take this little booger in the, the apple tree in the house and go ahead and try to uh, clean the rest of this stuff off of the windows stay safe everybody and hopefully soon we'll be able to go out on our treasure hunting adventures Searching for colorful treasures. Always so much fun. Miss that so much. Miss my friends over at the auction house that have had to close down. <laughs> so, but be, be anxious when we get back to show them my, uh, my fairy houses that I'm working on. So, see you later. Oh, and be sure to go on over to my shop. My little eBay shop. It's still open. SB55 shop. S-H-O-P-P-E. 
ebaymagazine.com will take you to my eBay shop or look in the description below. I'll leave a link to it. And if you like crafty videos and have comments and suggestions on the cracking in this air dry clay and how to fix it, please leave it down in the comments. Thumbs up. See you later. I'm gonna go get some more.